My parents have always sort of been allowed us to be free and do whatever we want to do in the sense that they never try to set boundaries for us which is good because I think when you have a child with a disability it might like you might want to set boundaries and my parents were never like that. I was born blind, so I've never had sight. I have what they call Leber's congenital amaurosis, which basically just means that your retina didn't develop properly. It's not genetically transferable or anything. Like, it was really just like a fluke of nature. I'm 25 now. I was a student at the University of the Free State, and I matriculated in a small town in, in the Western Cape called Wooster in a school for the, for the blind. It was actually very random. We were at a first year's meeting and they needed a participant for the 100 meters and I, I said, okay, I'll do it. Um, I just need a guide. And then one of the other first years sort of volunteered to guide me. And after the, the first year's athletics took place, my um, RC Sport actually said to me, listen, you need to get coaching. And at the end of 2012, I met my current coach who's now still coaching me, Rufus Berta. You have to have somebody with you. That person has to be faster than you. And then when you race, you use a blindfold. So there's something on your eyes to just equalize the playing field. When you run together, you use a tether that ties the hands together. And that's basically it. A highlight was definitely going to the Paralympics in 2016. It was really just a great honor to be there. And I think the World Championships I enjoyed most was last year in London where I came fourth in the 1500. I competed in Berlin. It's really a lot of fun to run in Berlin. I don't know, I just enjoy the vibe. So if, a, if, if you enjoy the vibe of a city, I think it makes the competition so much nicer. Womanhood to me basically means being strong and soft at the same time. You know, not losing your your femininity but not not being a pushover it's like balancing it's a big like balancing thing for me like being able to take care of others but also to be able to not be dependent on others if that makes sense in my running career i still want to go to the paralympics in tokyo tokyo 2020 i also still want to go to the world championships in 2019 in dubai and then I wish to, one of my biggest dreams is to break the world record in the marathon. We'll attempt to do it this year in September in Berlin at the Berlin Marathon. The most challenging thing for me about running is having to run harder to, to improve on a time and having to work harder. But I also enjoy the challenge because it gives me the opportunity to show myself that I can be better and be better. I have the opportunity to show others what women can do. It's special being a woman because you have so many roles that you can fulfill. You can be a mother, you can be a working woman, you can be an athlete. There's so many things that you can do when you're a woman. The emotions that I feel when I run is joy. I feel happy, I feel free. It's taught me more discipline and it's taught me how to persevere to work towards a goal and to work hard towards a goal.